Thank you so much. You know, this is so exciting for me this evening, taping a television show and everything. It's always a thrill. Um, I love doing TV. I was recently on a show called Star Search. Heard of it? But actually, I wasn't on real Star Search. I was on Star Search International because I'm so very international. They had a real problem with me because I look this way, but I talk this way. <laughs> that was like a problem. And they're trying to be sensitive about it. They're like, Margaret, we don't want you to take this the wrong way, but could you be a little bit more, oh, I don't know, Chinese? <laughs> well, actually, I'm Korean. Whatever. <laughs> and I was supposed to go on the show and tell jokes. What was I supposed to do? <gasps> oh, my husband is so fat! <laughs> that when he sit around the habuku, he really sit around the habuku. <laughs> Gong. <laughs> I don't go to church anymore, and my grandmother follows me around. Margaret. Margaret, how come you don't go to church? <laughs> you have many friends at church. <laughs> Bingo. My mother is convinced that everybody in show business does drugs. She's like, oh, you cannot go to the club because they take the drugs. <laughs> the people, they take the cocaines. And then they take the D, what is it? The D, the L, the D, the D, the D, the D. Mom, it's LSD. How do you know that? <laughs> My mother really wants me to get married. I don't know if that's going to happen soon. I have trouble with men. Do you ever go out with somebody and you like them so much, 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 and then they do something and you don't like them anymore? I went out with this guy recently. I liked him so much, I liked him so much, I liked him so much, I liked him so much. We went out, we went dancing, and he started moonwalking around me. And I didn't like him anymore. I dated one guy who said that if I broke up with him, that he would kill himself, and I broke up with him, but he's not dead yet. <laughs> and I want to calm up and go, you know, what's the deal? <laughs> I thought we had an agreement. <laughs> I love being here in Montreal. It's a beautiful city. I, I travel a lot. I, I like traveling, but I get kind of nervous when I go to places where there aren't a lot of Asians, like Alabama. I was in Mobile, Alabama, I was walking down the street, and this man actually calls me a chink. I mean, he actually called me a chink, I was so mad. I just looked at him, I said, chink? I'm sorry, chinks are Chinese, I'm Korean, I'm a gook, all right? If you're gonna be racist, at least learn the terminology. Get like a redneck to English dictionary. I think that racism is the biggest disadvantage to being Asian in America, but if I were to choose, I think the biggest advantage to being Asian in America is that if you're at an airport or a bar or something and somebody comes up and talks to you and you don't want to talk to them, you can just pretend you don't speak English. <laughs> oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much.